Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about what is personality? Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about personality. We all kind of have an idea of our own personalities, but what do scientists mean by personality? The APA defines personality as individual differences in patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Basically, the traits about you that make you either the same or different from people around you. It's incredibly important for psychologists to be able to understand personality because it affects behavior. Remember, psychologists study the brain and behavior. To have a huge major thing like a personality characteristic that can affect your behavior means that all psychologists, no matter their particular area of focus, need to have a basic understanding of personality. There are psychologists who specifically study personality, and because psychologists are generally bad at naming things, those scientists are called, wait for it, personality psychologists. Personality psychologists study personality in two different ways. The first way is to look at personality characteristics, like say extroversion or narcissism, and see how a lot of people vary on just that one characteristic. A bunch of people, just one characteristic. The other way to look at personality is to look at a bunch of characteristics for just one person. So if you were to give one person assessments on a lot of different personality characteristics. So you just heard me say that key psychological term, assessment. There are lots of different scientific tests that can assess your personality, like the Myers-Briggs, the IPIP-NEO, the MMPI, and don't worry, we've got videos coming up about some of those. The assessments test for lots of different types of personality characteristics or traits. So things like extroversion, intuitiveness, openness, agreeableness, and even some things like paranoia. But remember, just because these terms sound like words that we're familiar with, they do have a scientific meaning that is operationally defined within that assessment. So someone in your everyday life telling you that you're extroverted or paranoid is a lot different than a counselor, psychologist, or therapist telling you that you've scored high on an assessment measure on a trait like extroversion or a characteristic like paranoia. If you want to know all about personality and learn all about the science of psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos. And until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! most important thing I can tell you about personality is don't trust BuzzFeed. Knowing how introverted you are based on the type of layer cake that you pick for your dream wedding, yeah, that's not, well, well, it's not science.